Hello, I'm Fist, and welcome to Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. Before beginning your journey, you must create your character and set the game's difficulty. When you set it to normal, allow me to quit without saving, mainly for Let's Play purposes, and continue. And as you can see, all your uh, previous choices that you used to have are gone. I played this game for about an hour earlier, just to see how much had changed. Uh, it's not a new game, it's more like a mod. Um, let's see, we will be Fist. Maybe eventually one day we will be Lord Fist, but now we are just Fist. Um, power Strike, give me two Iron Flesh. Um, one inventory management, maneuverability. Let's see, Sheep. That's right. Shooting horseback. Yeah, let's get pathfinding. And let's finish up with shooting from horseback. And um, I think I'm going to use guns in this one. Those of you that watch my uh, Warband uh, Blood and Steel Let's Play know I prefer bows, but we're going to give guns a shot. Let's see. Random, random. Oh. Jeez, that guy looks crazy as hell. Let's see what he looks like with different hair. And a different beard. Huh, <laughs> old Grizzly Adams. Uh... Manchu. Go back. I like the pencil mustache. Um, a little bit older. Change the hair color. That's that's good enough. Your travel is taking you to a small Cossack village on the outskirts of the wilderness. As you stroll past, the silence is broken by gunshots. Oh my! See what trouble is afoot. Welcome to With Fire and Sword. This is a short two. That fence is blocking your way. Knock it over. You can attack in four different directions. Move the mouse up, down, left, or right. Good. Now on to defending. Defense is controlled by the right mouse button. To defend effectively with a weapon, wait for your opponent to commence his attack. That guy ahead looks like he's up to no good. You'd better use your no skills to teach him a lesson. Excellent. Looks like there's more fighting to be had. That group of adventurers seems to be expecting company. Yeah, that voice is annoying and loud. Thank you for our aid. Yes, next arm is always welcome at times such as these. It was my honor to aid you. It really wasn't. Come, let's find some horses and ride away before more these scoundrels appear. Uh, okay. Sure, buddy. Alright, then we'll have to do something about the padlock. Take so pistol blast the wretched thing, will you? Great, you have a new toy. It's a wretched Press padlock. Press R to switch to first person view. This will make Amy grab yourself a horse and ride away with Monfort and his men. Get close enough to the horse until you see the word mount appear. Press F to mount up. Jeez, trying to reload, buddy. Alright, alright, come on, fraps. There we go. Wonderful, you're saddled up. Horses can be wily beasts. To control your mount, use the W, A, S, and D keys. Press W to spur the horse onward, and S to rein him in. A and D will rein the horse left and right. Riding requires some practice. Don't forget that it's easier to make tight turns if you slow down a bit. I probably should have figured out some way to turn those tutorials off since the base gameplay has not changed at all. But, 
Look, I didn't. More so. enemies on the horizon. Time to put your sword and pistol to use. You can scroll up with the mouse wheel to switch between your weapons. Now, go ahead and fight your way out with fire and sword. Give me a break. Come on. Well, at least he's not mounted anymore. Well, he got stabbed in the face. Is that it? Alright. The tutorial's a little more in depth than it was on uh, Warband in the original, but it's still not fantastic. My name just, just I'm not gonna read all this. Basically he says he got in a duel with D'Artagnan and uh, that's why he's no longer a pimp-tastic like he used to be. And uh, you guys I do from here. <coughs> and it does that. And D'Artagnan, for those of you that don't know, is the main character of the Three Musketeers book. Um, he was not one of the Three Musketeers. But he was uh, an acquaintance or a friend of theirs, and uh, that guy has some trouble with him. All right, now some major differences. You cannot recruit people from these towns. I cannot tell you how painful it was to learn that lesson uh, over and over and over again. There are mercenary camps. The only two ways to recruit people is mercenary camps and uh, taverns. But there's some cool things about that and some not so cool things. Not so cool, you can't just go from town to town and build your army. You could technically go from city to city, castle to castle, because the castles have taverns now and build your army that way. But um, if you want to have a specific army with a specific composition, the only way to do it is to go to the mercenary camp. The mercenary camp makes it... Uh, more simple to get exactly what you want. Uh, you have the option of getting a range guy or a uh, range cavalry or infantry. And uh, you kind of have the ability to make them uh, have whatever gear you want them to have. And fraps is changing videos or something because it's going real slow. Okay, there we go. Alright, um, final mercenary captain. Alright, here's the menu. Then you can hire soldiers and change the equipment. Um, I think we have 500 gold right now. So I'm going to get 5 infantry and 3 marksmen. And uh, see if I have enough money to get any any kind of upgrades on them. And it, basically it's an upgrade system. It's not so much a uh, a customization system like it was advertised, but um, we'll go to infantry and let's see, better armor. He only shows what you have enough money to buy, so I don't have enough money to buy any better armor. I'll uh, see if our marksmen can get hats. I think they had some really cheap hats, something to wear on their heads. Yeah, I'd like to get a Mr. Ruka, but it's very, very expensive. It's kind of like the... Uh, the Russian cone hat, but uh, we'll get some marksman caps. And that's all we really have enough money to do, but it should be sufficient for now. So now we have nine troops. We're not about to take over the world anytime soon. This game is much harder than the uh, the other mod I was playing, and that mod was pretty hard anyway. So let's uh, let's go ahead and end the video here. I'm going to mess with the settings and see if I can't get Fraps to cooperate a little bit better and join me in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.